Hi. It is me again. Actually, it's been a while, and we can thank the great British lockdown for that. Actually, even pretty much thank the global lockdown for that. But let's push the lockdown out of the way. Uh, I'm going to introduce a new series that we're starting up where we do some reviews. But we're not reviewing new kit or new games or stuff that somebody hasn't seen yet. The idea is to look at things that we've been using for some time, perhaps pull out some favorite bits of kit, perhaps pull out a favorite of costume or camping gear, and talk to you about it and let you know what the experience has been like to own and use this over a bit of time. So these are like long-term reviews, and hopefully they'll give you some idea of what these things are like on long-term. You know, it, it, it might look great when it's new and shiny, but it, would it really stay the distance, or would you still live it a couple of years on? This is what we're going to try and find out. So I'm starting today with my favorite belt pouch. Belt pouch. Okay, so this item is now two years old. I bought it about this time two years ago at the first TP event 2018. And I picked it up from Ski and More. Okay, That's, I don't even know Ski and More, but they're a Scottish collaborative of makers. They do fantastic costumes and leather work and armor, weapons, food. Oh, yeah, food. Um, <clears throat> fuck my food. Awful. Okay. So I picked it up two years ago, and it quickly became my favorite belt pouch. It's quite large. You can see that if I can... can uh, there. See? Peekable. Peekable. Okay. It's quite a large belt pouch, but I absolutely have fallen in love with using this thing over the last couple of years. Okay, why? Well, first of all, it looks absolutely awesome. The leather on this is, re is really, really thick and heavy. Uh, you know, you knock it and it really stands up to a few knots. You can see some really big vivid work here. So this whole thing, it feels big, it feels hefty, and actually not heavy, hefty in that it, it could it feel like it could take a beating and I don't see how clearly you can see those scratch marks, but yeah, it's. Uh, I've had a few tips and tumbles and falls and falling into things. So I've had a few accidents over the last couple of years. <sighs> Nothing mild to me, but a lesser deputy item might not have fared up too well. And I also adore the really, really, really heavy duty stitching on this. Absolutely gorgeous and full of atmosphere. And two years on, I'm not thinking I need a new belch pouch. I'm thinking maybe another one <laughs> because one of these is probably not enough and I'm thinking that this one is starting to look nicely worked in and nicely realistic so no I'm not I'm not messing around anymore this is fantastic okay if I flip it around for you there we go one flip around it this is where it hooks to your belt uh rivet it in and it's a nice it's a really really stiff piece of leather so it's not going to get floppy and make it hard to hold on to you can just thread a, there you go you can thread the belt through there and it just locks itself in place nicely. So, and again, this is such a big, heavy hook, 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 hoop. It's a hoop that you can just work with this. It's just nice and strong. Now, bring it around to the front. When I had it, I hated this and now I love it. When I first saw it, I loved it because I thought, oh, that's really great. That's a kind of a realistic way of attaching and locking down a pouch that doesn't use a buckle and it kind of looks like it could easily be pre-medieval or dark ages. It looks like you don't need to do a lot of metal to secure this. It's just a very simple lever, lever tie. <laughs> I thought I hated it. That's because when I first bought it, this was incredibly stiff and I had to really work it to get it going. But over the last couple of years, that stiffness has turned into something a little looser it's now much, much easier to use. And because it was so tough to begin with, I think this is going to last for years and years and years. Uh, so the quality, the quality has run out. Okay, so then I open that up. Just by pulling through here. There we go. We get to see the pouch itself. Now, let me just give you an idea what the inside is like. So that. There we go. Hard to show on the video, so I'm going to do some photographs to help you out. That's and they'll be. I'll give you the link down in the uh, 
down in the description, but there's a lot of space in this. And again, it's that heaviness, that thickness. It really, it really holds structure. If you look at that there, see, that is, along the side, is, its structure holds really well. And going into it, it is capable of expanding if need be. And I just get that quick pull because it can take it. There you go. To hold quite a lot. This is a really big, big cabinet pouch. You need to carry a fair bit of beer. Beer? No, this is not a beer pouch, but that would be awesome. But a fair bit of gear in your belt. Yeah, this is a, just, just a ticket. I'm just going to flip that over so you can see that mechanism working again. So all I do is I thread up through there. I thread up to there. Hang on a second. There we go. Pull that round. And look at that. Nothing is getting out of that. It's absolutely rock, lock, solid. You can see why I like this now. Yeah, at least I hope you can. It's robust. It looks awesome. It's got to look awesome. It, the amount it can carry is really useful. I'm so sorry about that. My apologies. It's a really useful amount of stuff it carries. And yeah. It's just a nice pouch to have around you. So like I said, this one was some skiing more. I bought it for about £35 two years ago. Uh, bought it on, on field and immediately put it to use. And I love it the bits. Uh, we'll put all the relevant web addresses down in the descriptions and on the website. It's together with a few more pictures. And if I think of any more notes, I'll add those on for you as well. Just to help you along. Okay, so that's our first item. That's all for now. There will be more coming up in the not too distant, and we're just going to keep going through gear now and giving you some idea of things that we think are helpful. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, being that I'm recording this on lockdown, I'm just going to say to everyone stay safe, stay well, look after yourselves, and as soon as we're allowed back in the field, <laughs> we're going to be there. This is Rob in the hellhole of 2020. Thing. Hello, and now. thank you for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to ring the little bell to be notified when things come up. Uh, or why not? Pick one of these. Come on. Just, just anyone. That one? That one. I, I'd go with that one.